Hey girl. Hello Sagittarius, how are you doing? My name is Simply Valk and I'm going to be doing your weekly love reading between you and your person. We're going to just deep dive into the energies and see what's going on between you and your person, why you guys haven't connected yet, if you guys have, or if there's a little bit still in like the beginning phases and you're just trying to figure things out, right? This is what this reading is for. I also do your weekly general reading um, every single week for your zodiac sign Sagittarius, which I'll put a link to over here for you to check out later if you would like. Um, but when it comes to any of my readings, I always ask the individual to rely on your intuition, right? That is because I like to speak in examples but you know your situation better than I ever could because put it in perspective I'm just a man with some tarot cards right so take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't because overall I'm not going to take it personally it's again it's just some tarot cards right so if you do find some cards that do resonate with you I would love to hear about it in the comments below let me know which card give, you feel is like calling out to you in specific and you feel as if was pulled just for you Sagittarius right also I would love for you to give me a like and subscribe should you enjoy this reading um and it gives you a sense of direction because it does help out my channel a lot and I, and I always am super appreciative when you guys take the time to do that for me but uh let's just jump into this reading now Sagittarius the overall reading the overall energy of your guys's situation right now between you and your person is the assured card from regretless life tarot the it is number nine so write that down this card says when you know what you want don't waver from it no matter how hard it is and i feel like that's kind of been the overall theme for you for a while sagittarius like i feel like um <laughs> like your auntie that's just like paying attention to you to your life and just been observing y'all for a while now because for a while you guys sagittarius i feel like you guys have been in like this mirroring phase in terms of your person for those that have been on a person for a while now i do feel like it's been a while this isn't really like a new energy that i'm getting for you guys sagittarius but let's just jump into this let me start showing you your cards we have the king of water on your side of things and this is open your heart and mind to those around you trustworthy and heartfelt advice and charity work on their side of things they have three of air great sadness the need to forgive and maybe so it seems like they're kind of checked out from this situation whereas on your side of things you're in the process of warming up right you're in the process of starting to feel safe in this connection and the overall energy between you two is the four of earth Sagittarius now I always say this is like the sitting duck energy this is where it's like nothing is really happening and that's perhaps why there something's going on with them but their life could be hectic as well right right but I just want to point out like assured energy is letting you know like there is this, this is like a if you're feeling something honor that feeling right that's really overall what this card is saying this beautiful artwork from regretless life but let's just jump into this reading now right Right, let's put, look at these clarifiers that we have for you on your side of things we have the hermit card the four of cups in reverse and then the knight of cups now let's break this down i feel like this is letting me know giving me an update of what's been going on for you sagittarius i feel like you've been in this hermiting phase i don't know if you've been on like a soul searching journey of any type uh sagittarius but it seems as if you've been kind of introspective so maybe that's why the four of earth energy on your side as well has been like a sitting duck energy because maybe you just have been working on yourself if for this relationship or just in general right maybe life has just been hectic for you we have the four of cups in the reverse for you which i'm just going to show it to you upright so you can look at the artwork right and this card is talking more so about where you you know when this is in the upright for me i see this as an individual who is kind of like daydreaming wishing this person were to reach out to them or having wishing for like a closer connection i guess more so in this regard for this reading i feel like you've been in this process of just wanting to be loved wanting to be appreciated wanting something different i'm hearing and that makes sense with this king of water you're in this process of opening up again because maybe you were hurt in the past or maybe you've been all of your past relationships and not just romantic maybe in like family and friendships as well Sagittarius you've always been like the giver and never been one that's been like getting any type of emotional fulfillment out of it and the knight of cups I feel like you kind of are at this point now in terms of this connection with this person 
you've now that you've started opening yourself up a little bit maybe you started working on your heart chakra right perhaps you're now ready to either pursue or you're ready to just look for love you're ready for this love to be received right i do kind of feel when the uh when they bring the knight of cups to you on your side that you, i always kind of see this as like spirit saying who needs to initialize the energy right but let's look on their side of things now the three of air they're going through something right now in, on their side of things, we have the sun in reverse, we have the high priestess in the upright, and then the six of swords in the reverse. Yeah, they're going through something. When the sun is in the reverse for them, they're going through something. It may be, in, like, it, let's, like, again, let's put this in perspective, Sagittarius. Anytime, like, let's not get in this loop when it comes to reading, uh, receiving tarot readings and relationship readings. Let's not assume everything is about us, right? Yeah, we're all guilty of it, right? We're self-involved beings. Um, the sun card, this is maybe they're going through something right now, um, in their own personal life. So they're going through some chaos, right? But, you know, this also could reflect in terms of how they're viewing this relationship as if like it's going nowhere because it is again at that standstill phase with that four of earth, that sitting deck energy. Now, going into this, uh, I kind of feel like this is like where their view actually like i feel like they're viewing this relationship as like it's not worth it anymore i feel like they're listening to their intuition they feel like this is what the right thing is right they feel like that this relationship isn't going anywhere and that this connection isn't worth any type of investment anymore and that's what they're bummed about so you can read in between the lines now and be like okay this person actually cares so maybe that's why it'll make it easier for you to show up with roses right Think about it in that perspective. Listen to me try to sell it to you to you for you to start like honoring your emotions, Sagittarius, because you guys have been in this mirroring phase. And I feel like this person, your person over here with the sun in reverse and this high priestess, you know, this person is like a, they're, they're kind of like at a point where it's just like they're ready to move on right and then when you have the six of swords in reverse this is where it's letting you know that you don't want to make this decision but like i feel like this high priestess is coming in where it's saying like it is going to eventually come in stronger being like they feel like this is the best for them because i feel like they are an intuitive person that you listen to their gut feeling they honor their feelings a little bit at least maybe not in terms of like reaching out to you but it seems as if they're in touch with themselves at least so the six of swords let is letting you know they don't want to walk away away from this connection they're trying to spirit's trying to give you as much assurance as possible that there is something they're trying to assure you right i love that uh deck in the, in the energy between you guys we have with this four of earth the clarifiers i pulled was the strength card the uh, nine of swords and then the emperor in the reverse so that's interesting so hmm I feel like this relationship, this connection, I'll say rather, because I don't feel like this has ever been, like, for some of you Sagittarius, I don't feel like there's ever been any kind of commitment towards either party. It kind of has been like a, a eyes, like, across the, like, meeting and glances and all that. It doesn't feel like a actual, like, y'all have been ever open with your feelings. The strength card coming in, though, is letting me know this connection has, like, taught both of you guys a lot in yourself. I feel as if, Sagittarius, this is really triggered enough in both of you guys, where it's like, even if you guys don't end up together, now I'm not saying either or, um, this Nine of Swords is letting me know of where it's like, both of you guys, dare I say, with this Emperor card, I feel like you guys both just came from a very disempowered place before, or you guys had a skewed, and maybe, I mean, we, who doesn't have a skewed vision view of themselves? But it's almost as if, like, and through this connection, maybe they were triggered because it's like this connection has been at the standstill. And at that point, you know, when you start internalizing things, you question your own value and stuff. You're just like, oh, am I worth this connection? Like, da 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 da. The stories we tell ourselves, right? It's one of those things where it's like, because both parties seem extremely intuitive and stream and extremely just self-aware like you guys have learned to not project on the other person maybe there have been like initial projections but then it's just like you guys both go inwards like you had that hermit card right you would go into your hermiting phase your person would go into their high priestess intuitive phase and just learn from this i feel like both of you guys just are extremely like focused on like self-development and i really enjoy this energy overall back of the deck energy is the lover's card with the seven of cups and the death and rebirth <laughs> so let's break this down this is letting me know that this is like 
deep soulmate connection, right? There's um, even if you guys do not end up together, um, if you guys do want to make it work, I feel like it definitely could work with this lover's card coming in. There is some definite energy here between you guys. Seven of Cups, though, comes in as letting you know that there are other options, right? This connection has potential, and I can tell you this connection has potential, but this is just purely from an energetic level. You know, it's still on both parties, on your side and the other person's side, that you're connecting with Sagittarius, that you have to work around this energy, right? You both have to... Because with this Emperor in the, in the reverse, like both of you guys are not taking action in this. And so it's going to continue with this four of Earth energy. And so until both people, like someone takes action on it and is open, right? Because there's just been so many, so much mirroring energy. Maybe when you guys even connect that, that you guys aren't even open. There's some type of mask. You guys need to put it at like remove the masks. That's what I feel like this death and rebirth card is for. So that's the overall reading that I have for you guys. Let's pull pull an Oracle card actually. A couple oracle cards to see what kind of guidance we can get uh for this week in terms of this connection see what advice we can get for you sagittarius we have the ant spirit time to collaborate now this is self-explanatory right this is one of those things where it's time to come together it's time to work together on something rather than feeling like you guys have to fix each other because that's kind of like the energy i feel drawn to say as well like I feel drawn to say, like, you don't have to fix this other person, just be, and like vice versa. Like, it's time for you guys to just like, if you truly want this to work out, come together as a person, be a team unit about this, and you know, just be like, hey, we're both we're both broken spirits. Let's work together. Let's collaborate together and see if we can help heal each other and see if we can help inspire healing ourselves right through this connection. Right? Think about it in that way. The past. So I feel like uh, in terms of this, like, I feel like part of this mirroring that's happening with you guys, I'm going to be honest, because of how intuitive you guys seem to both be, is that you've had to be extremely self-aware and intuitive because of past hurt. And I feel like with this Five of Cups being the back of the deck energy as well, there's a lot of like looking to the past, there's a lot of not making the most out of a situation. And I feel as if like, I did say that you guys aren't projecting on each other, but there does seem to be like a projection from like past connections. So this is just like trauma. This is like triggering, right? So this is one of those things that I feel like it's just important to acknowledge and not just for yourself, Sagittarius, but for the other person. Acknowledge that you both have had your own pain up until this moment. You know, I said it, it's like, we're all broken spirits, we're all damaged spirits, and it's just a matter of figuring out who it is that we want to collaborate with, collaborate with Sagittarius to go the long call with. But um, yeah, that's the reading that I have for you, Sagittarius. Again, if you did enjoy this, I would love for you to give me a like and subscribe. Um, but I'm gonna close this, close this reading out since apparently I cannot talk anymore. I love you so much, Sachi. Bye.